perfect. So Laura, if you want to go to the next slide, that would be great. Brill. Um, so uh, let's start by saying it's 2022, as I'm sure most of you know by now, halfway through. <laughs> um, I think we're all expecting this to be quite a busy year for Birmingham with the Commonwealth Games coming to the city. Um, I think we can agree major events like the Commonwealth Games are exciting, uh, but we're here today to look at what part we can all play in creating a lasting legacy for local communities. So our aim is to build on the excitement and hope around this year to create a legacy for local people. Um, this is a legacy that targets inactive groups, provides inclusive opportunities for people to get involved and supports people like yourselves in strengthening your local partnerships. Um, you are the experts in your local communities. You know them better than we do. And it's through people like yourselves working together with the local people that you engage with that we can build a lasting benefit for them once 2022 is done. Um, so the Commonwealth Games will last in the UK in 2014, uh, where Glasgow hosted. As part of their legacy programme, Sport Scotland developed um, community sports hubs across Glasgow and wider, the vast majority of which are still running today, uh, around 10 years on, which is great. Um, so in the next slide, we're going to play a video that captures what uh, the community sports hubs look like in Glasgow. And then we'll move on to looking at how a similar model might work across Birmingham. So if you could uh, stay on mute while the video plays, that, will, that would be much appreciated.
Right. Well, hopefully that hasn't convinced you all to move to Scotland, <laughs> but we can rather keep you here in, um, in Birmingham. Um, and of course, we're not Scotland, so we, we do recognise the differences um, there. But what we have done, as Kate mentioned, is taken um, a lot of influence from the model that Glasgow has, um, has been running since their Commonwealth Games. Um, and we've been in contact with them, which we'll discuss um, a little bit further in the session. So first of all, what is Club Together? So Club Together has been born out of a desire to see Birmingham communities and its local providers uh, represented and given voice by empowering each other, banding together and building partnerships. Building, um, building upon that, Birmingham City Council recognises the need for more local representation and has chosen the seven districts within the city to focus on, which we've listed here. So Erdington, Hall Green, Hodge Hill, Ladywood, Northfield, Perry Bar and Yardley. With this in mind, we have put a lot of thought into how we can support the, those communities and bring this opportunity to you as local deliverers and as those who know their participants, their audiences and their communities best. Having been inspired by the success of Glasgow's Commonwealth Games legacy back in 2014 and researching their success with what they term their community sports hubs, we want to use Birmingham's 2022 legacy to help create hubs across the city which serve Birmingham's varying community and which celebrate their differing landscapes. Um, as Birmingham City Council, as a Birmingham City Council funded programme, the focus is not only on giving voice to provision, but also focusing on developing more inclusive sport and more accessible physical activity provision in Birmingham. The name of the programme captures what we want to do, um, supporting people like yourselves to club together and share knowledge, resources and expertise to engage your local community. The seven districts have been identified as areas where club together hubs could thrive and where varying approaches could be tried and tested. It has also been recognised that the work you and the networks around you do in these areas already has a strong trusted presence and links well into the local people need and interests. So we'd like to support you in making this even stronger. Next slide, please. So Club Together Hubs um, have got a completely broad possibility of, of, of how that could look and how that may run but essentially they're collaborative that's why there's a variety of people on this call um, and we recognize that we've got those from community organizations from traditional sports clubs um, we've even got those from education establishments etc cetera, etc cetera. so great to have such a mixture of people from, from varying sectors um, and focuses um, it's about multiple groups and organisations using their individual expertise to create a collective offer for their community. They're not one model. No one part of the city is the same as the other, as we all know. And so there isn't a model to follow or structure to abide by. Your hub might be based around a venue. It might be around a geographical area, or it might even be based around a theme or priority audience. So there is scope to make it what you want. They're locally owned and driven. The power of the hubs is in your hands, not ours. You know your communities better than we do, and we've identified you as people who are doing great things for the communities you serve. It's in the hands of the hub members to create their own model for success. That equally gives you the freedom to, to start and try in a, in a certain practice, and potentially that needs to adapt along the way um, and to try different things. And that's where we can support um, you in, in doing so on that journey. They're place-based or theme-based, as mentioned. We're open to supporting hubs that might be based around a theme and so aren't just based in one of the priority districts mentioned. An example of a themed hub might be one that's made up of disability-focused organisations who club together to improve their citywide disability activity offer. And themes will be driven by community needs as well. They're inclusive, and that's inclusive in the widest of senses. They support engagement of inactive and diverse audiences, and especially those who aren't currently engaging in activity and those who don't feel like physical activity is for them, as, as we might say. So that gives you a bit of a snapshot of the characteristics of a club um, together hub. Um, and hopefully you're already thinking of where you might um, fit in or, or sit within that space. Kate, I'll pass over to you. Yeah. Um, so 
let's have a little look at a real life case study of a community based hub. This one is is from Glasgow. Um, so in developing the Club Together program, uh, we asked Glasgow to share some stories around the community sports hubs they've supported. Uh, one example of this um, is Easter House Community Sports Hub. Um, that's been running for over 10 years now. It's an area based hub in Easter House, um, which is an inner city area in the city uh, with high levels of deprivation. They have an anchor organisation, which is a community centre that delivers a, a variety of sport and physical activity, things like boxing, badminton, martial arts, etc. Other local sports clubs then feed into the hub and help deliver projects. Um, so they um, deliver sessions together, um, share volunteers, etc. Um, but the hub's focus uh, over those 10 years have moved purely uh, moved from purely sport to having a more of a community focus. And that's why its partners include people like local schools, uh, health and social care organisations and housing associations. Um, they're a constituted group, which means that they can apply collectively for funding. And they've taken stock of what their local community needs and decided that mental health is a priority for their future plans. So they're looking into social prescribing and delivering mental health specific sessions um, as a hub. So that gives you a bit of a, a flavour of a real life example of a community hub. But um, we'll now look at what might be involved and who might be involved in, in a club together hub. So who might be involved? Aside from traditional partners like sports clubs, community organisations, leisure centres, a great hub has places and spaces that can reach new audiences. So we've put some examples up on the slides, but that isn't an exhaustive list and that gives you an idea of, of the scope of a Club Together hub and its members. Again, hubs don't have to have lots of members. Uh, your hub might start out as two local key players working together and, and build and develop from there. The key is having the drive to engage new and inactive audiences um, and, and hopefully this like kind of yeah gives you some inspiration or some ideas about who who you might want to link up with locally um, Laura if you can move on to the next slide please great so what might a club together hub want to do again this isn't an exhaustive list but rather a, a picture of what a hub might want to develop together and uh, and what sport Birmingham could support hubs in achieving so that could include um, getting ACES training together as a group, uh, getting accessible signage up across venues and delivery spaces. It could include creating your own website to provide communities with a space to engage and see what's going on locally. Um, it could include building up an inclusive marketing and promotion pack, which has inclusive images, videos of the venue and access information. Um, it could be purchasing adapted equipment to allow for new and tailored sessions to be delivered across different spaces. And it could include sharing facilities and volunteers to untap the potential of each other's resources. But as you can see in the big blue box in the middle, um, most importantly, you tell us what you want to do and how you want to shape your hub. This is just an idea of what you might want to work together. But again, you know your local place better than we do. And um, you, you'll have a better idea as to what those different needs are and how you can kind of work together to, to help engage new audiences. Um, now, I think if we go to the next slide, Alice, you might want to run through some FAQs. Thanks, Kate. So, yes, you'll have all noticed we've kept you all um, very quiet this morning. Um, this is very much about us. Um, providing you with some of our immediate information on this on this exciting project um, but we are very aware that there'll be many questions that, that come out of this all of which we will be addressing in a frequently asked questions document after the session we also held a session yesterday yesterday evening so we'll be correlating all of those questions that came out from that session and today's session and I'll encourage you again please do pop some things in the chat box because we'll be um, coming back to those and answering them for everybody um, so don't worry we will be talking to you um, but we've already thought about maybe some immediate questions that might arise um, just from just from today so let's run through some of those um, FAQs as as an example who leads a club together hub so a hub needs to be driven by its members um, Sport Birmingham is here to support and the creation and development of a commute club together hub but the most successful hubs will drive things forward for themselves 
There may be a lead organization in the hub who chairs and organizes the meetings, or there might be a more shared approach with a joint effort to plan, build and run the hub. It all really depends on what works best locally and for those involved. And as we said before, it might be a model that adapts and changes along the way um, and tries some different, uh, different things. What support does Sport Birmingham provide? So our role in all of this is to help bring people, groups, places and spaces together, helping you connect with each other. We want to provide support in developing your hub ideas and we will signpost you to any other opportunities that might complement your work in a club together hub um, and further beyond. Um, we do have funding available through Club Together um, as, as the programme stands to support your plans and to support your ideas. So please do um, think about picking up with us and we've got some instructions coming later on in the session um, to talk about those next steps as, they, as, as you want to take them. Um, and essentially we're creating a platform for your voices to be heard. So we want to be that facilitator to open the door um, to, to broader conversations, those that um, have more part to play in some of the decision-making um, around Birmingham as a city. Um, and that might be around spaces um, that need to be opened, venues that um, need to be um, redesigned, et cetera, et cetera. And we know that you have those powerful voices within the community and the knowledge from that community to be able to get um, some of that information up to those making some of those um, higher decisions, which impact all of us, of course. Um, how do I, so I'm not a sport and physical activity provider, what part might I have to play in Club Together? Um, so the part, a great hub will have people like yourselves as points of contact, um, of connection to the community um, and will help build ideas and you'll be sharing your own expertise and resources. So a great hub moves beyond just sport. Um, and as we saw in, in the case, case study that Kate just presented, um, they, they, they've broadened out and they've included um, varying um, organizations and individuals um, who, who have a presence within that space in that community. Um, so the more variation, the better, in fact. Um, how do I set up a Club Together hub? Well, our next slide is going to address that and Kate's going to tell us how. Great, thanks, Alice. Um, so, yeah, if you're still with us, if, if this has kind of excited you and inspired you to think about how you might want to build up a hub in your local area uh, and you're thinking about how you go about it um well there's, well there's two positions that you might be starting in um first position might be where you already have links in your local area um or you know who you want to build connections with or maybe you're already part of an existing hub or consortium in that space as well that's completely fine more than happy to um to kind of move forward with existing relationships and connections so you might already have those links but if you don't uh, we're going to put a link to our help me connect survey in the chat box now and um, don't worry we'll also be sharing that with with the slides and and other documents that we'll be sharing in a follow-up email but we'll put it in the so in the chat box at the moment um, what you can do with that survey is input your contact details and we'll share your details um, to link with others who are interested in Club Together. There's been over 50 signups for our virtual launch, which is great. Um, there should be plenty of people and groups to start connecting with. Um, so, yes, yeah, so have a look, have a look at it. Um, have a look at the hub. Uh, sorry, have a look at the survey. Um, it should be really quick to fill in, um, but kind of gives you that starting point to start some new connections. Um, again, it's OK to start small. A hub might start with two groups and expand and build from there. But once you know who you might want to club together with, um, you'll present your idea to us using uh, our template. Uh, the template will be shared with you in this follow up email. Um, it will give you the chance to write up your proposal or you can use a video um, or another creative way to capture your idea if that suits you better. Um, we're kind of open to, to hearing your ideas in, in, a, in a way that suits you. Um, but uh, by using our template document kind of gives you a flavour of, of what we want to hear and, and, um, and how you're going to do it. Um, we'll then come and meet you to discuss your idea. Uh, and we'll provide support to Club Together Hubs to help achieve their goals. 
So again, the template and survey will be shared with you in a follow up email. So um, please watch out for that in your inbox. Have a look over it. And um, again, feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions in the meantime. Um, Laura, if you could move to the next slide, please. Um, so this is just a quick slide to say that we are here to help. Um, I know that many of you are volunteers. Um, we know you don't have time to be sitting through millions of slides and, and PowerPoint presentations. Um, but this is just to note that we have other funding opportunities available this year. So um, do get in touch um, if you have other ideas to help celebrate your local community during the Commonwealth Games and if you want to start um, engaging um, inactive audiences and, and uh, delivering sport and physical activity in your area, um, please do pester us and give us a chat. Great. Laura, next slide, please. Bro. So what I'll do now is... Um, put a Zoom poll up, um, I'll make it live, just so we can get a bit of feedback as to what your thoughts are on the Club Together programme. Um, on, on this presentation, it shouldn't take more than a minute or two, but just interested to hear um, how, how you feel about the programme after hearing a little bit more about it, whether you're interested, um, whether you have people who you think um, you might want to club together with, um, so uh, I've made that li live now, so um, I can see some people filling it in. That that's great. Um, I'll leave it open for a minute or two, but um, yeah, be really, really appreciate your feedback on it, and um, good to know. Great, I can see responses coming in. Maybe about halfway, halfway through. That's brilliant. Fantastic. That's great. I'll leave it open for 30 more seconds. Any last submissions? Um, and then uh, we'll say our thank yous. Just to let everyone know that survey um, for Help Me Connect um, link is now in the chat box. Um, apologies, it just took us a few more minutes to, to get hold of that. But as um, Kate has said, we will be sending um, the slides um, and other relevant documents, including the link um, around after the session so um, keep a lookout for that probably next week um, but if you do have a chance go and have a browse go and have a look through what um, that entails um, and again thank you so much for those that have taken part in the chat box um, we'll be going through all of those comments um, and again we'll be we'll be sharing a lot of that um, out so everybody can see what was spoken about yesterday what was mentioned today as well um, and equally we will be welcoming people to get in touch with us yes by all means Kate I've taken over your, your no that's slides. all right that's quite <laughs> um, all right yeah Laura feel free to to flick to the last slides head to the contact details so yeah. um yeah yeah both but both myself um and Kate um along with Laura as part of the communities team um are available monitoring the advice at Sport Birmingham inbox um we'd really welcome you to get in contact Kate, do you want to present this marvellous newfangled business card? Yes. Um, yep. So instead of wasting paper, we've decided to go virtual with our business cards. It's a, it's a QR code. If you scan it now, um, our um, contact information will uh, come up on your phone and uh, you'll have the opportunity to save it click of a button which is which is pretty it still blows my mind um <laughs> but uh yeah feel free to do that or jot it down whatever works for you um but yeah just just to say again thanks from us uh hope that this um this has been useful uh please do get in touch if you're interested and uh, and have questions as we've mentioned uh we'll be sharing the slides around with you 
we'll be sharing um, the survey link with you again in case you lose it um, and the document with the uh, hub proposal template on as well so look out uh, in your inbox shortly for that um, but yeah just again thanks from us um, and yeah have a great rest of your day you've you've oh you've got a whole 12 minutes back is, uh, <laughs> we, we give that 12 minutes to you yeah. on this Wednesday so uh, go go get a drink <laughs> stretch <laughs> your legs <laughs> do something good with it thanks ever so much everybody thank you for joining us thanks everyone.